I burned out. The interesting thing about burnout is that it never happens overnight. You don't suddenly wake up feeling overwhelmed or unmotivated, finding it difficult and burdensome to even do the simplest things. Taking care of yourself, finding joy, remembering who you are, knowing where you're going in life. You know, I talk about slow living, but the term itself, the lifestyle, doesn't mean idleness. You strive just as much, work just as hard, while practicing a more mindful work ethic. Which, in fact, I didn't do for the past few months. Making myself always available, always online, always in front of the screen, as frankly, that is where most of my work is. Everyone has their own limits, and I know that I was at the edge of mine. I've experienced this before, and I know too well what my symptoms of burnout are. Generally, burnout is a state of physical and emotional exhaustion caused by excessive stress. When even the simplest tasks or activities throughout the day are so difficult to do that you need to keep convincing yourself, pulling yourself back together multiple times per day in order to do even the smallest actions. Symptoms of burnout generally include emotional numbness, inability to take action despite having the goals and motivation, struggling to do the things you're interested in, feeling out of control, having lack of desire to take care of yourself. For me, it also shows up in physical symptoms such as migraine, sore eyes and aching back muscles. I spent too much time disassociating and mindlessly scrolling through my phone just to escape somewhere else, somewhere not here. When I realized that what I'm experiencing is indeed burnout, I knew I had to get out of it, get out of my routine no matter what. You see, progress is not achieved by trying harder or tripling your load. It's not achieved by doing the same redundant thing over and over again but with increased strength. I believe it's achieved by changing your ways, trying new things, taking yourself out of the routine for as long or as little as you can, and doing something different. Instead of avoiding difficult things and trying to forcefully remove the negative, striving to add more light into our lives instead, add good things instead of getting rid of bad ones. I've decided to make a simple list, noting bad habits which were the result of a burnout and positive changes I can make gradually. And then I went outside, changed my environment, leaving devices and even my camera behind. I went on a spontaneous weekend trip, where I learned about this one very lovely concept. It's called forest bathing, a process that originated in Japan and called Shirin-yoku in Japanese, a practice of therapeutic relaxation and mindful breathing, where one spends time in a forest or natural atmosphere being calm and quiet amongst trees, observing and focusing on sensory engagement while mindfully connecting with nature. 
This term emerged in the 80s for the same reasons I'm describing today. The purpose was to offer an eco-antidote to tech boom burnout and to inspire people to reconnect with nature and protect the forests. While I have been doing some form of this before without knowing the term, somehow learning that this is an entire process, a movement adopted by other people, made me feel slightly less lonely in my experiences. You can really do this anywhere, in any natural environment. A city park, a field, a path by the river, but of course, forest or an area with high concentration of trees is ideal. Trees absorb tons of carbon dioxide, making our air cleaner and cooler. As well as keeping our atmosphere rich in oxygen, they filter pollutants from the air, helping to improve our immunity. Research shows that chemicals called phytoncides, released by plants and trees, strengthen our immune, hormonal, circulatory and nervous systems when we breathe them in. I spent an entire day wandering through the forest, by the bubbling river and mossy stones. I even got lost a bit and had to go back through pitch darkness while listening to the sounds of nature. This was the best therapy I ever needed. I came back home refreshed, feeling more positive and hopeful than before. But the work doesn't stop here. It's so easy to fall back into unhealthy habits and default into toxic routine, isn't it? I took an entire week off social media and any creative work, but then a new challenge came. When I wasn't busy, guilt suddenly rushed in, the desire to overcompensate. I thought, I have so much time, might as well cramp in more work while I can. This is the important point where one can either accept these feelings and grow from here, or fall into the relentless cycle. I had to remind myself that I freed up all that time not to cramp more in, but to make way for better things. I had to remind myself that I didn't waste all that free time, but took the necessary care of myself, the care I've been neglecting for so long. I did other things, did other non-creative work which I was avoiding before, spent more time outside, tried new recipes, spent time reading, journaling, and simply being there in the moment. It's okay to take time for yourself. I have to remind myself to do this more often. Have you ever experienced anything similar? I would love to know. Thank you for spending your time with me today, and I will see you again next week.